Hi guys, Mike here. Uh, we're going to talk about um, a caustic cookie applied to an SSI. Uh, so if I find my test map, I'll show you what I've been doing. So this was based on a screenshot that, um, well it wasn't based, uh, the idea came from a screenshot that uh, Cornwall, Cornwall Wallace put up on his Twitter feed. Uh, if you don't follow him, you probably ought to. He is actually one of the devs. Um, uh, and he's a decent guy, so he, he's working on a zombie map, uh, and it should be really lush because obviously he's professional, so it should be high quality. So what I'm going to show you is how a caustic cookie can work on your map and give you a, sort of a real-time sort of cloud type effect, in a way. Uh, it's not exact, but it, it's good. So if we fire up uh, my last test prefab I was working with, I shall be able to show you in a little bit more detail. Uh, you're going to have to pay attention when you look at this video. If you're looking on the mobile, it's probably not, not you're going to struggle to see it. But if you're looking in HD, it should be fine. So, let's give it one moment to fire up. And uh, let me close that down. It's unnecessary. And that's unnecessary. So, if I go into F9 mode. Now you're going to have to look fairly carefully. I've got these, the um, caustic moving really really fast. Uh, well it's not really fast but it's fairly fast. So I mean, you get fast clouds. So if you look, travelling over this we're getting shadow effects occurring over the surface and that's going to affect the lighting. So if you set your lighting up really lushly and have the angles all right you're going to see that effect apply in a really nice way. This is just a test prefab, so we're not going to see much special level, and you can see the clouds travelling across. Uh, they're going in this angle. Um, I'm not sure we could see it in better effects. Will we be able to see it in the lighting in the forest area? Pretty hard to see. It, it is flying over, there's, there's too much sh shade. Um, but if we look up, you may also see I've got clouds floating over. Uh, so I'll explain how I've done both anyway. Uh, you need to probably think about how you map a bit more again. It's just adding an extra layer of detail. It's not necessary. Uh, it's not showing it off very well, but if you look at Cormora Wallace's uh, Twitter feed, you can see uh, two lovely screenshots he's put up. He doesn't put a lot up, but when he does, it's really good quality. So first, let's press F9. Let's see what have I done here. So if we find the sun volume... All I've said in my son is we're going to use this SSI. Now if you haven't played around with SSIs, you can look at earlier tutorials, but they're really easy. The SSIs are your light states that you're going to, the lighting effect you're going to have in your um, volume, that's the SSI sunbox. Uh, so I've called one uh, Default Sunset Cookie Whacker. So I've just taken the Default Sunset and copied it, and I'll show you where. So I have my own sky SSIs. I've basically created a duplicate of this by right clicking creating a duplicate. Let's call it Bob. <laughs> uh, and drag it into my field here and then Bob's there. So I can edit this to my heart's content. But if we look at the one I've been editing, it's a default sunset cookie whacker. Here we've got the dynamic shadows going on. Uh, we've got the intensity, but most importantly we've got the cookie being defined, so it doesn't have to be that cookie, it could be any of the other cookies I've got. I'm using this cookie because it kind of looks like a cloud. Uh, the scroll speed is defined here, there are other uh, items you can play around with, but you know, if you want to just copy this just for a simple test, it's a good way of doing it. So, once I've got this set up, I've also put a volumetric fog in, just if you do start to play with lighting, you'll start to see it taking effect quite nicely. Uh, but you can see it floating over these clouds, so what you'd probably want to do is really slow this down. And you're going to notice it, uh, you're not going to see it here, because uh, this is not, uh, I need to work on a really nice lush scene, so you'll see it, and I'll do that later. But if you imagine you could be stood here and the lighting looks like this, but as soon as the cloud goes over, it'll just all darken off and it'll be flying nice and slowly along. Uh, not at the radical speed that I currently have it, which you can see going on here. So that's quite a speed. It also gives you um, an idea of just ha how big a value you can put in here. So I could change this and I'm going to... 
go the other way. I'm going to go to put three, uh, and I'll show you why. Just to show you how fast three is. Can you see the really weird effect going on there? For a video purpose, it didn't make sense really to go for really slow. But I would have thought, uh, if 0.25 is fairly slow, what you're after is probably 0. Point sort of, you know, 0. Point 0.05 would probably be a better item and you're not really going to see it in the video it's going to be really hard to see you can just about see it but if you were stood in a certain area it'd be really noticeable as the light effects go across your skybox as I say you're really not going to notice it too much in this sample map uh, but I suggest you have a nice play uh, see what you can do and if you've got some really nice lighting going on your map um, it's going to make it look just that much more sweeter and if you want to put some clouds in uh, you can see them flying over all they are are FX there's nothing special about them I've just angled the FX in the direction that the um, SSI caustic cookie is going so the caustic cookie is going this way so obviously the sky is going that way as well and that's it really that's a quick little video for that and I hope that helps you just add a little bit more ambience to your maps because uh, a lot of people they're knocking maps out. There's no ambience, you know. You gotta, you gotta get it. You gotta put time and effort in. Uh, look at Jammy's uh, map he's making, the old London one. If you want a good example, catch you later, guys. Bye.